Are you taking the tape off of your trees and now you're seeing these little gypsy moths and the eggs under the tape? Well, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna solve this problem and help to save some of these trees for next year. Right up in here, you're gonna see what the gypsy moth caterpillars look like now. Remember in the last video that I shared, we did it, some tape around different spots around the tree and I did, on this particular tree, I actually did three different rolls of tape. I'll just zoom out so that you can see it. So I did those three rolls so that they wouldn't climb up the tree and it worked really well. So you can tell it caught them when they were really tiny here. So that was great. But if you look up in here under all these little spots, if you've got burlap on your trees, it will be the same thing. So what we're gonna do now is we'll unroll this tape and then we're gonna scrape these off into a bucket of warm soapy water because we wanna kill those. It's really hard to see, but what's happened in years past, last year was the worst for us in this particular area in Ontario and you can see, and it's really hard to tell, but you can see them all along the branches. And then you can see where only some of the leaves have come back on these trees. So this is what's hiding under all of this tape. And this is what I need to get. I'm gonna put the tape and everything right in this bucket with soapy water. And what I'm gonna use is just an old paint scraper and then that's how I will get these off of the trees. I just thought that would probably work the best. Um, anything that's kind of got a flat side I guess like an old knife or something like that would probably work just as good. Now just for the video I'm going to show you what I'm doing but I'm doing it with one hand so it's not perfect. Some may fall on the ground because I'm balancing it with my knee. So anyway what you would you would just scrape these into your bucket if we can get them off of here and of course with two hands it would be much more effective I couldn't get my tripod to set up right so Caleb's gonna help me so that I can hold the bucket so and make sure you get all up in there bud and scrape them right in the soapy water you want to just make sure that you don't drop any on the ground you want to get them as possible out of your trees that's it, that's really all there is to it. So Caleb just found this. So on our tree was a bird feeder hanging. So he just lifted it up to see what was inside of it. And it's just full of these. So he's gonna scrape all of them off into that bucket of water as well, because uh, we wanna get rid of as many as possible. And of course, this year, for whatever reason, we've got lots of earwigs in our area. Um, we haven't had earwigs in quite a, a number of years, but for whatever reason, we've got lots of earwigs too. So he's just gonna dump all of these because that's the one important thing with these gypsy moths is they're looking for little dark places to hide. And then Caleb will get this one too. And then, form their cocoons and just go through their life cycle and that's what's happening so we want to try to get rid of as many as possible um, so that we don't get these back next year. If you look really closely here, here are little eggs so that's what they've been laying. Um, we just pulled a moth off of this and there was a cocoon and then underneath of it was these eggs so this is another thing we want to make sure that we get out of this tree because we don't want these coming back. I'm pulling the tape off another tree and here's a perfect example how this little gypsy moth has laid all the eggs right in that section right there and here you can see how the gypsy moth is laying the eggs so underneath you can see that little area and that's where the eggs are. Gypsy moth caterpillars are an invasive species and they have done so much damage to some of our trees in Ontario. So I hope this video was really helpful. You can see how now you can prevent some of these eggs from hatching for next year and hopefully that in Ontario we'll be able to get good control over this problem that we've had. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.